Genesis chapter 1, verse 31. And God saw that everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day. And on the seventh day God ended his work which he had made, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, because that in he rested from all his work which God created and made. <laughs> Greetings, friends and colleagues. Beautiful day here in Denver, Colorado. Few clouds in the sky, but today I want to ask the question, are women forgetting the importance of men? Are women forgetting the importance of men? Now, the reason I'm asking this question is because I'm doing a series um, in, the, in the next week to come um, <clears throat> on, on the Ten Commandments. And I'm going through each, uh, each of the Ten Commandments, preaching a sermon on each commandment. And today, we're preaching on, um, well, unfortunately, I skipped the third one and went to the fourth uh, because I, <laughs> I got mixed up. But anyway, um, today we're doing the, uh, <clears throat> the fourth commandment of the Bible um, in Exodus chapter 20 where God says, Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. You see, I'm a part of the millennial generation, you know. And I'm, I'm, I'm one of the early millennials, um, practically not quite a millennial, but still considered a millennial. You know, and millennials, you know, we grew up with computers, TV, internet. And, you know, some millennials are too young to even remember, you know, what life was like before modern technology, you know before birth control, before the hookup culture, before Tinder, you know, before the mini skirt and uh, before yoga pants, you know. I remember growing up, you know, these things weren't around, you know. <clears throat> and many, many people nowadays think that, you know, we have it better now, you know. We made, we made society better. Women are freer. They're not as oppressed. Um, and I think, you know, in many ways, to a degree, uh, it's true, you know. Um, modern life is... is can be uh, seem seemingly more abundant, right? You know, we have airplanes and and uh, modern fire trucks. There's a fire truck going by right now. Uh, refrigerators, um, internet, you know, you name it. But in other ways, you know, there's a lot more STDs. You know, there's more HIV, AIDS. You know, more wars, more greed. And you know, some days I feel like you know. We've taken one step forward and two steps backwards, right? And unfortunately, you know, I think we forget to remember, you know, we forget to remember where we came from, you know. Women, with feminism, you know, with all its equality it has nowadays, forget that, you know, men in the past, they built everything. All the infrastructure you see in society, all the uh, power lines, all the sewage lines, all the buildings built by men. <laughs> You know, all the cars were invented and built by men, you know. You know, so if you don't constantly remind yourself of something, it's very easy to forget it, you know. And, you know, I don't want to just bash on the women because men are guilty of this too, you know. Men kind of forget that, you know, everything was created by God, you know. That's why God told us how important it was to remember, you know. He said, remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. You know, every week, the last day of the week, the Sabbath day, God commands us to stop working and just remember. Remember that everything was created by God. Everything comes from God. You know, and we're supposed to be uh, submissive to Him, you know, obedient to God, you know, and give Him praise and thanks. And we all know that, you know, in the schools nowadays, they don't teach God. You know, they teach evolution. You know, all the women uh, are taught to, you know, go to work seven days a week, if that's what it takes, you know. And they think, you know, they're making progress because, you know, they don't stop to remember that without men, without men's strength and men's muscle to build, that they, they wouldn't be able to even have that car to drive to work. They wouldn't have a nice paved road to drive on to work, you know, and that, that, that nice air-conditioned building when they get there, you know, that was built by a man, you know, and as a result, you know, they've lost respect for men, you know, they think they're equal, and, you know, this is partly why, you know, MGTOW exists in the first place, to remind women, hey, without us men, when us men walk away, 
and we're no well not around anymore to build your to build your infrastructure you know without us y'all will be nothing right so just remember when we when we walk away and everything falls apart remember why we did it because you weren't showing us re, uh, uh, the respect that we deserve you know maybe then maybe then you'll remember maybe when once we go our own way and we walk away from you maybe then when your electricity shuts down or your plumbing shuts down and you need a plumber and there's no man around to help you <laughs> maybe then you'll realize that hey you should have shown us the respect we deserve you know you should have remembered our um um our value right you shouldn't have disrespected me you know, you shouldn't have been so proud proud to think that you can do it all on your own. That you were independent. That you didn't need a man. Right? You see, God gave us a simple commandment, gentlemen. On the seventh day of the week, He told us, Just rest. And remember, don't forget that I made all this. I gave you life. I'm the one who created you. You know, lest you forget and turn, and turn away from me. You know? And when the day comes when you need God, He won't be there for you. You know, so let's not make the same foolish mistake of disobeying this commandment. You know, which I would argue is probably one of the easiest commandments of the Ten Commandments to obey. You know? And I know it's Thursday. I know the Sabbath day is not for a few days. But you know what? Let's make sure that come the Sabbath day, let's, let's remember to... Um, to obey the Father, to obey the Father's commandments. And let's remember that, you know, without God, you know, we wouldn't be where we're at today. You know, this guy's gonna, he's gonna photobomb me, say what's up to the dude. <laughs> All right, anyways, you know, otherwise, you know, if we, if we don't remember, like God told us to do, you know, we might fall into the same conditioning that these feminist women are following into today, you know. We might, uh, forget to give the respect where respect's due, you know, and forget to give praise and honor to God the way He deserves it, you know what I mean? We might be filled with pride and arrogance like these feminist whores are today, you know, who are, who we all know are good for nothing, right? But anyway, that's my short and sweet message today for you guys. Let's just remember that God created all things and he deserves the honor and glory, rightfully. Anyway, that's my message, you guys. Um, you guys have a great day. I hope uh, the Holy Spirit touched you, and I'll be praying for you guys. Um, just keep remembering, guys. All things come from God. This is Sean Alva signing off. And as usual, I'm going to give God the last word. You guys have a great day. God bless. I'm going to read from uh, Psalms chapter 78. The Bible says, Give ear, O my people, to my law. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable, and I will utter dark sayings of old, which we have heard and known, and our fathers have told us. We will not hide them from their children, showing to the generation to come the, the praises of the Lord and His strength and His wonderful works that He hath done. For He established a testimony in Jacob and, appoint, and appointed a law in Israel, which he commanded our fathers that they should make known to their children that they might set their hope in God and not forget the works of God, but keep his commandments. Amen. <laughs>